Hi guys, I am Asif Ali and today we will cover all the velocity modules in UE4 Niagara. So let's start this. First of all, subscribe my YouTube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification. So I will create the basic Niagara particle system with this fountain emitter. And by default, in this emitter, we have velocity. That's why particle going up. Then it has gravity, so particle going down. And I will delete all these. So I have now a spawn rate. I will hide this and a sphere location and if I make the sphere radius 100 you can see the particle spawning on a sphere location location we have already covered all the locations so you know all the functions all the options here in the sphere and I can make this surface band so it will only spawn on the surface so now how many velocity we have we have one two three four five six six velocity we have so first is add velocity and velocity i will add in particle spawn because you need velocity when particle spawning if you will if you will place that in update it will update per frame and it will work differently so like velocity and if i make this uh, let me just decrease the sphere size to 10 and if I make the velocity on Z100 particle of course going upward and if I duplicate this emitter and move this sphere a bit here on on X like 100 so I have two and this right one and left one both are same but if I move this velocity on the right one to the update you will see velocity going up because it's updating per frame and multiplying per frame so you need to put your velocity in spawn to work perfectly so so in this velocity i have first these this vector x y and z and you can just make any axis velocity or negative or y or negative Similarly, you can make the Z and negative Z. And if you open this here, bottom, you have the scale velocity and this is multiply of the velocity above this and then the coordinate space. So if like if you have 100 and this is 1, that means 100% of the velocity that given here. If you make it 2, it will treat is as 200 because it's multiplying this so if you have some different number like random number 2 4 7 5 and you need to double this so you can just put here 2 or you need to just make it half you can make it 0 0.5 or just 10 percent 0.1 so you don't need to calculate the value how much the 10 percent of this you can just play it here okay so this is how it works then what you can do else so like if you make this random uniform and place 100 100 100 in each and negative 100 in minimum because you have maximum and minimum here and now if i increase the spawn rate one thing you will notice these are random but it's creating a cube shape but you need a random spherical shape so what you will do reset this instead of uniform you can take random vector that is new in Niagara 4.25 I think then it continues so you can take random vector and if you put value here like 100 you can see it's random and it's spherical so it's random in all side and now you can increase or decrease this so now you can see it's random but on z is multiplying with 10 so now you can make this type of effect 
so these are the sad things with this and you can do lot of more things with this it's upon you because Niagara is open it gives you some values some vectors some plots then how you play with those sad things that's up to you okay so there is no a specific way or rule to make anything you can just do anything that you that you want and that you find easy for you so now the second velocity is add velocity from point so as it says velocity from point it works like same so it's it has strength and red from the center of the uh, system a zero and then velocity on from point so if this is the strength you can increase or decrease this then this is the offset you can see this is zero so it's from zero and if you make the offset like 100 on z because now the center is somewhere here so particles are going down okay understand uh, if you don't understand let me paint so you had the particles and here this is the grid and your particles were like around this point because your grid was here but now your force your force was like this because this is point velocity and when you shifting the point of this green here here so now your force is here oops force is here but particles are spawning here so when this force is reaches here the particle will go like this i hope you understand this is pretty easy you can see here when you offsetting the particle going down when you offsetting in x particle going this way and if you open this you have the fall of distance if i make this in red now this is the velocity of particle reaching somewhere here and if you increase or decrease this you can see if you turn this on just you have fall off of 100 if you make it 1 or 0 it will be same if you make it 0.1 now it has some some uh, it has very less uh, distance to cover so you need to i think play with very little value to make it zero it's yeah you have to increase the, this to something like let me adjust this so now you can see this is now reaching just here so it's up to zero means it's not working actually and 100 is area is very less and if you make the 120 or 150 now the area is increasing so this is the fall off and you can invert this of course and then velocity from cone so if you increase the strength the particles are moving in a cone shape and you have the axis so you can make this on z also and then you have a angle of this cone you can increase or decrease the area of angle and you can see this cone is solid this is filled and you can make this hollow by turn this uh, let me let me check yes now you can see the cone is now hollow and when you make this this is the option velocity distribution along cone axis and when you make it 1 it's completely filled and when you decrease this to 0 it will be just the edges of the cone and then you have this distance fall off again so you can increase 0 means ok here is different let me just play yes if you are increasing Follow working differently. If you are making zero, it's not working. If you turn this off, let me just figure this out. Okay, I have changed the value very high to zero and it's still not working. 
still not working let me figure it out so I'm turning this on party run up and turning it velocity fall off away from the con distance 0 and 1 why is not working properly so the one part is going to work this option not working a power comes applied to the comparison between the con vector and the central axis of the cone. In essence, the more the particle and the cone point away from the cone axis, the less action is received. This is the velocity of the particular action of the Let me increase the sphere location to 100. And now, if I turn this off, particle going up. And if I turn off my velocity. For its pair. So this option not seems to working with any value. So I don't know it should work like a follow up but it's not working. So you can leave it now and if I'll figure it out. I'll use it in my tutorial and you can you can have the idea then. I'll leave it now. I'll just leave this. So you have this con velocity. So you can play with this you can you can if you you have this angle if you reduce the angle like 20 and if you break the axis and now if you make z and if i randomize the z now you have 2 and if i copy this and paste on y now you have 4 so this is the cool way to make cool effects and now you can increase or decrease the angle also and this work already looks better so cool now after velocity cone we have inherent velocity so if you put this here and this have two option the axis and the limit and by default if it's in spawn and if I make this like 100 nothing is changing here but in viewport if I move this here and when I'm moving you can see which direction I'm moving particles are going which direction if I move up you can see particles going up if I move down particles are inheriting with the with the emitter velocity when I'm moving it and if you drag it to the update now you will have better idea how it's working let me just decrease this to one 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 and now you can see okay so this is the inherit and let me just show you it has this limit if you if you see the output now particle going very far if you make this limit to like one but we are not going very far so this is the limit of that and see but are not going very far so this is the limit and then we have a static mesh velocity and vortex velocity so first static mesh when you use this it will fix and create one more module to use the static mesh and here if I use the mesh and now if I increase the velocity of the static mesh you will see particles are moving along not along moving on the normals on the side of the on the angles of the normals of my mesh because a cube has six sides so it's spawning it's going to six side if you use different mesh here it will work accordingly like 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 the slender fix it now is spawning according to that slender so this is this had two options first to choose the mass and second velocity and third if I again choose the cube and third is the inherit inherit also works with this if I drag this and move it 
you can see inherit is working so inherit is already here and you can increase or decrease or you can apply one more inherit module this looks cool i can i can make good stuff with this see how i make good stuff so like i have this and i have got an idea to create something with this so i will play with this i will make this gpu lots of particles i need and let me make this green i like the green color and decrease this this and make the particle random 5 size uniform like 5 or 3 then spawn rate i will increase more and then i will i will curve the size float curve and if i now check cool trace i have and i can also play with i can turn off this mask and let's use some curl noise in the spawn and like this so cool trails cool trails cool so i'll just remove all the things that i added so this is clear now our last is last is vortex velocity and if i turn this on i accidentally deleted my sphere location i will use that again so party are spawning this on this sphere and i'll decrease the spawn rate 10000 and now if i turn on my vortex velocity you can see particle rotating because the amount is 200 if you make it zero is zero if you increase this to like 2000 you can see the particle rotating let me increase this particle rotating and this is the axis if you make zero and make this one now rotating on x or rotating on y and if, if you randomize this axis random vector particular rotating all axis and if I make this 100 now you can see let me make it 100 also particular rotating in all axis okay so it has just this basic setting and then influencer so if I make this 0 1 make this so particular spawn and rotating and this is my fall off you can turn this on and play with this like 10 and red the particles are just spawning inside the sphere and then going out this is maybe 20 you can now see the particles spawning here and if you increase this it will work the same so these were all my velocity modules that you can play with and in future i will make some tutorials to use these velocities and make cool effect simply so I hope you like this and if you are enjoyed, just comment below the video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel CJ How. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. Bye.